Scientists will begin geoengineering experiment and try to block the sun. Scientists have decided to publicly attempt a geoengineering experiment. The researchers from Harvard University are going to attempt to launch particles to block out the sun in an attempt to save humanity from global warming, and cool the planet. According to popular mechanics, this incredibly bad-sounding idea seems like it stemmed from an actual event. In 1991, the volcano Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines, sending millions of tons of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. This layer of particulates actually lowered global temperatures by almost a full degree Fahrenheit for the following two years. Researchers speculated that by filling the atmosphere with a similar level of particulates that were shot into the sky during the 1991 eruption, while skipping the lava and explosions, they might be able to reduce global temperatures enough to halt or delay some of the more severe consequences of climate change. But even the most left-leaning of human beings are not on board with attempting to alter the global climate artificially. After all, ISNT that what the tyrants and political elitists the peons continue to vote for keep telling us was the problem in the first place? Any small mistake could radically and permanently destroy the delicate ecosystems and global climates for centuries. In particular, one study published last year found that spraying particulates into the atmosphere around the Gulf of Mexico could trigger droughts in sub-Saharan Africa. But scientists are attempting to assure everyone that their test won't have any major effect on the climate. The test allegedly consists of a high-altitude balloon that will fly several miles into the atmosphere and release less than a pound of calcium carbonate a less harmful alternative to the sulfur dioxide produced by volcanoes and then spend about a day flying through the resulting cloud to measure its effects. The purpose of this test is to figure out exactly how the substance behaves in our air so scientists can build more accurate simulations. Of course, others have gathered a wealth of evidence suggesting that climate manipulation is already occurring right under our noses. Dane Wigington has an entire website titled geoengineeringwatch.org in which he publishes all of the evidence he's collected proving that governments have been manipulated the weather for a long time. In fact, they might be responsible for the very climate change they blame on the general public and make us all pay for. The assault on the Earth has already been taking place, according to Wigington, but just how much evidence do people need that this could be the most pressing issue of our time? Climate change fear mongers could be on the verge of destroying the Earth as we know it. God bless America.